Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you what I think is the quickest and easiest way to make this lovely balloon heart wand and it only takes three 260 twisting balloons. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks. Inflate one of your twisting balloons and I'm going to inflate this one to a tail of just about two fingers and then I'm going to let just a little bit of air out here just to soften that and then tie and inflate your second balloon the same way. So let's measure these two balloons alongside one another. Unfortunately, they are very close uh, in length. So if you needed to lengthen one of the balloons, if one was considerably longer than the other, then on the shorter balloon, all you would need to do is just run your hands along the balloon and just stretch it out a little bit. Okay. So with our first balloon, we're going to make a loop, okay? A loop of about four fingers, okay? So just twist that around and pass that knot through the center of that loop, okay? So you can see if I measure my hand against that loop, it's four of my fingers. I'm going to make another loop to match this one. So I'm going to give the balloon a little squeeze just to soften it a little bit. Measure the loop against my hand. I just like to put one twist and then I compare the two loops. They're very close in size. So then I carry on twisting a bit more. And then I also take hold of the knot and nozzle and wrap it around that second loop. So that's not going to come undone. And give my balloon a little squeeze so to send the air to the tip and fold the balloon over, measure and twist. Okay, and I just have a little look. Yes, I'm happy with that. So twist some more and then wrap those loops around one another. Okay, so that's what you've got. And you need to do the same thing with your pink balloon. So take your two balloons hold them together at the top here. And then this is a little bit of magic. All we're going to do is just scrunch them together at the top and then just twist them around one another, okay? And that's going to connect them together. So all we need to do now is just arrange these loops. And I'm just going to wrap the different colored loops around one another. That's going to connect them to together a little more closely. And let's see what we've got, okay? So I just need to swap that around because we're going to alternate the colors. Okay, I'm just adjusting. So this is what you've got. We can now take the rest of the wand and if we compare these balloons, this one is now a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to try and lengthen it a little bit. Oops, I've overdone it, so I now I need to lengthen the red one a little bit. And I've overdone that. So it's quite tricky just <laughs> judging, but there, they're almost the same size, the same length. Okay, so now we can twirl these balloons around one another, twist them around one another. This technique is called the candy cane technique, okay? So just hold these balloons in your hands and we're just going to wrap them tightly and spiral them around one another. So try and keep your hands in the same position. The height of my hands isn't really moving. The balloon is moving. The wand is moving through my hands as I spiral these two balloons to the ends here. And when we get to the very end, we can just grasp hold of the end here and twist these two little bubbles together. So keep twisting and twisting, twist lots of times. Okay, and there you've got a candy cane wand. Inflate your next 260. And I've inflated that, so there's just a little tip of a finger or two at the end. And I'm going to let a little bit of air out of this to soften it a little bit, okay? And tie. Take the knot and nozzle and just wrap that into 
the loops that you've made and then take the tip of your balloon we're just going to stretch this out a little bit more just take the tip of that balloon and wrap the tip into pull it into those loops and wrap it around a few times so it's not going to come undone okay so we've connected the balloons together I'm just adjusting those loops okay okay to make the heart just stretch the heart out a little bit and then bend the center down so you want to bend this down towards here and then just grasp hold of the end here and just massage the balloon between your hands okay and then up here we can just massage a little bit up here and you've got a really lovely balloon wand if you'd like to learn how to twist more of my valentine's themed balloon designs you're definitely going to want to watch this video next